All righty. Welcome back to Griddle Cook Eat More once again. So today it's chopped cheese, chopped cheese time. Now a couple months back or so, I did a kind of created my own, uh, I wouldn't say my own, I try to keep it to the original chopped cheese that you'd find in uh, the bodegas in New York and like Harlem area, kind of how I started. Kind of try to keep it kind of authentic as I could uh, here in St. Louis. Well, my buddy Michael over at Galley of the Sun, YouTube cooking channel, happened to be watching, uh, watching my chopped cheese video, which inspired him. So he decided to create his own chopped cheese, but he didn't do the original. He did a play on it if the chopped cheese were created in Washington, Seattle, Washington. So you gotta check out this video on that. So that one was done with uh, some chicken, smoked gouda, and you can watch the video, check out the rest. After that, he still had a hankering for chopped cheese. So then he came out with the chili cheese, chopped cheese sandwich. Put a video out on that. So you gotta check that one out also. So I'm like, damn. Got two chopped cheese videos out. The chopped cheese is an awesome sandwich. It's got me thinking, man, I should probably do another chopped cheese. Well, before I could even come up or have a chance to make a chopped cheese, he busts out a third chopped cheese, a pizza chopped cheese. So now he's got three chopped cheese videos out, all looking awesome. I'll have links in the description for all of them. You can check them out at the Galley of the Sun. I'm like, man, I gotta get a chopped cheese video out. Mike over there's uh, killing me on it. Well, today we're gonna do what I call a St. Louis inspired chopped cheese. Maybe if someone would create the chopped cheese in St. Louis, maybe this is their thought on the chopped cheese. I don't know, but this is what we're gonna do. So let's check it out. All right, here's my idea. St. Louis chopped cheese. This is what I come up with. Pork steaks. What's more St. Louis than a pork steak? It's claimed to be that it was uh, invented here in St. Louis. Definitely a Midwest thing. Back in the day before it was really popular to be smoking ribs and all the barbecue we do today, if you said you were grilling, you were cooking pork steaks in St. Louis. So we got us some pork steaks. Thin cut pork steaks are the most popular, but you can get thicker cut ones. Uh, this is from Deerberg's, a local market, grocery store chain. Now we have another local chain called Schnucks. Schnucks, uh, I think, takes claim to start in the pork steak craze. But I got them from Deerberg's. However, regardless. So here's what we're gonna do. So we took our pork steaks, we threw them in the grinder. You can check out the footage right here. Ground them down and then we created this. Normal chopped cheese is made with hamburger patties. So we got a couple uh, pork steak patties. Well, pork steak patties to season them. We gotta have some seasoning. So actually, a buddy of mine at work, Kirk, this is his own little uh, creation rub that he uses on a lot of his pork, ribs, pork butt, and all that stuff. So we're gonna use his, keeping it local. Just gotta have cheese. So we got a couple slices, which I may grab another slice of Provel cheese. There we go, St. Louis cheese. Now, the only thing non-St. Louis I got here is uh, the bread. This is an Amorosa roll I get from a local restaurant that gets them shipped in, which are awesome. I had it, so I wanna use that. Does a good job. That's what I used on the original chopped cheese video. And then we gotta to top it. Uh, so traditional chopped cheese is basically dressed like a hamburger, but I decided I'm gonna dress mine with lettuce, some thin cut sliced red onion, and then we're gonna to top it with some barbecue sauce. And this barbecue sauce is a local sauce, uh, Bogart's, excellent barbecue joint in St. Louis. It's from them, and then I made my own ranch dressing, and then I call that the Red Hot Ripplet Ranch Dressing. So we have a company called Old Vienna that makes chips, potato chips, and then their most popular chip is the Red Hot Ripplets. Well, they decided to make that, since people loved it so much, you can buy the Red Hot Ripplet seasoning in a bottle. So took my homemade ranch, added that to it. So there we go. So that's everything we're working with. Let's get this griddle fired up and get some chopped cheese St. Louis style rolling. All right, got that griddle fired up here, warmed up. I think good enough now. So absolutely the first thing we gotta do, we gotta get our pork steak patties down. Coworkers barbecue rub, Kirk's big badass barbecue rub, we'll call it.
I'm gonna get my roll here, and then uh, we wanna get that down. Get a little weight on it. Cause in the bodegas, a lot of them put them on a little panini press, kind of crisp them up a little bit. So that's that's what we're doing there. All right, let's give it a flip. And we'll hit a little more rub on it. All right, the bread looking good. Get these uh, pork steak burgers just about uh, another minute or so, and then then we chop. All right, I think we're good. Let's do some chopping. All right, we'll give that just about a minute. Get it, uh, make sure we're pretty close to done, and then we'll get the cheese on there, get that working in. All right, I think we're good. We're gonna let that melt a bit and then we're gonna kind of get it worked in there, kind of mix it all together. All right, let's get it mixed up here. Guess that's the chopped cheese part. Get that nice and ooey gooey. And then, Mike, uh, since I got you turned on to those Halo spatulas, which unfortunately I didn't grab them this time, but it's time for you to get a Halo griddle, an Elite 4B. I'll put a link in the description for you so you can get one. I wanna see it on your channel. All right, looking beautiful there. Let's get it scooped up. Oh, look at that steamy bread. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, give me a second. We're gonna get uh, repositioned, uh, get this bad boy dressed. All righty, here we go. So it ain't a chopped cheese unless you wrap that bad boy up. But first, let's get it down here. You wanna get it dressed up real quick. First thing we're gonna do, hit up some red onions. I don't know why, I just thought red onions would be nice. A little shredded lettuce. Just like that. Let's hit it with our Red Hot Ripplet Ranch. And hit it up with some barbecue sauce. Pretty, prettiness is over. I don't know why, but that just makes it so much better. All right, now we cut. go baby there we go get a good look at that all right now we eat let's get this one unwrapped here go get a little nice look all right here we go let's see how it is it's probably gonna be hot probably gonna burn shit out of me Oh wow, that's good. Did you hear that crunch on that bread? That's what I'm talking about. That's why those bodegas, a lot of them that I've watched in videos, never been to one, but just doing some studying on them. And they like to throw that bread in there and get it toasty in those uh, panini presses they got. Oh. You know, you come up with these crazy concoctions and plays on different things. You never know how it's really gonna be. I mean, I knew all the ingredients are good. I knew it wasn't gonna be horrible or gross or anything like that. I knew it was going to be decent, but man, this thing's really good. Kind of impressed me a little, little better than I thought it, than me I thought it was going to come out. Um, yep, but who knows, didn't really know, but that's freaking damn good, I have to say. That's how St. Louis may have done it. I mean, there's other ways to do it. Another ideas in my head on how St. Louis may do it, but that's one I thought of first, so that's what we did. I want to thank Mike over at Galley of the Sun. Check out his channel. Check out those chopped cheese videos. I'll have those linked in the, in the description, link to his channel. I'm gonna have a link to the, my Halo griddle uh, for anybody else that's interested in it. Also, I do have a Facebook, Facebook group called the Halo Elite Griddles and More. So if you are interested, join that group. And I do have a discount code that uh, 
I had uh, asked Halo, say, hey, I got this group going. Can we get a discount code? So I get 10% all the time off their website. Anything on there? That is it for this. Check out Mike's channel. Like I said, does a ton of stuff. It does all kinds of stuff. So not just to outdoor griddling or barbecuing, stuff like that. Does soups, all kinds of stuff all over the place. So a lot of cool stuff, a lot of different things, a lot of place on things, a lot of creativity. Pretty cool. So check that out. But that is it for now. It is uh, past my dinner time making this video. And this is my dinner, so I want to get to eating my dinner. So until next time, I'm out.